Hey everyone, welcome to Art Tech. So what I've got here is the Snapmaker Dual Extrusion 3D Printing Module. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is troubleshoot this device to figure out what's wrong with it, or rather determine if this motor is bad or not. What's going on is that the extruding motor on the left-hand side does not move, and it also makes a strange noise whenever I'm trying to load or unload filament into here. And what I am referring to are these gears inside of here. These gears do not move anymore. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take this module apart. We're gonna go ahead and check out to this motor to see if it's stuck or not. And then we'll go ahead and do some troubleshooting steps as well to figure out if the motor is bad or if the control board is bad. In order to do this, you are gonna need the Snapmaker tool. You'll need the H1.5, the hex key 1.5, as well as H2.0 in order to take this apart. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start disassembling this module and figure out what's wrong with it. So to start, you're gonna need the 2.0 and go ahead and remove four screws in the back. Okay, now we need to switch to the 1.5 and we'll go ahead and remove the four screws on top. Okay, with that removed, go ahead and slide this out. We're going to take this cover off while we're at it. Go ahead and remove these two. Okay, at this point, the problem is with the left motor. First thing you want to do is go ahead and check to make sure there's no damage to your four pins. Make sure none are loose. They're all fine. You want to look in here and make sure there's no damage with these pins as well. And all of these are fine. Okay, since we verified all of this is, in, is fine, what we're going to need to do now, you got two screws in here. Go ahead and remove these two screws that allow you to remove the motor. In order to remove these two screws, you're going to need the hex 2.0 for this one. Once that's loosened, go ahead and pull it out. The next thing you want to check is to make sure that these gears can actually move freely. They all do, so this is not the issue. So now the next step is going to determine if this motor is the problem or if the control board is the problem. So in order to do that, we will now go ahead and remove the motor on the right-hand side. We'll remove this one. Once we remove this one, we'll go ahead and take this, place it onto this side, take this motor, place it on the right-hand side, go ahead and plug it in, power it up, we'll heat the nozzles up, and we'll go ahead and get a load filament process started. And if the left-hand side does work, and the right hand stops working, and the problem followed this motor, then that means the motor is bad. If after swapping the motors out, and you start it up, and the left side still doesn't work, then that indicates that the controller is probably bad. So let's go ahead and remove the right hand now. Now just make sure you don't get the two motors mixed up once you remove them. Now just be aware, if you have issues like what I'm having where one, one extruder does not work, these are the troubleshooting steps that Snapmaker is going to have you go through before they can provide you any help. Let's go ahead and put these on here. You have to try to get these gears to line up with all these teeth before it'll go on. Let's do one for now, just to make it a little bit easier to get this other one on. That one went on a lot easier. Completely screw them all in now. All right, go ahead and plug it back in. Now keep in mind, there are little slots here that would fit in these holes. So just slide it in that way. So they can only fit one direction. Doesn't fit, don't force it. Okay, so now at this point, we have got the presumably bad motor on the right-hand side and the good motor on the left-hand side. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to the snap maker, and then we'll go ahead and do a load process to see what happens to it, to see if it will run or not. Go ahead and install these again. Now at this point, I am not going to reassemble everything because all we're trying to do is figure out if these work in here or not. So go ahead and move it over to my snap maker. All right, so let's go ahead and power the unit on. Okay, so now I got the unit all hooked up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and heat up the nozzles. Here now both nozzles are heated up. So let's go ahead and try loading this one first and see if it works or not. All right, and the gears are working. Let's go ahead and stop it. Switch to the right nozzle and it's working. So apparently in this situation, there was nothing wrong with the motors and perhaps something was lodged in there jamming it. And when I took it apart, it cleaned it up. So I'm going to go ahead and just reassemble this now, and now we're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and reassemble this. And remember to take these out, and be careful because they are going to be hot. And it's going to be a simple matter of just sliding it back into the case. Make sure these are locked into place. Before you fully get it in there, go ahead and put your door back on. All right, slide it in. Get your four screws. You need the 1.5 for this one. Okay. 
Switch back to 2.0. Obviously remember, since you took this thing apart, you are gonna need to do a bed level and you'll need to do a Z calibration. All right, let's go ahead and do one more double check just to make sure that after assembly, it's not jamming again. Okay, now that it's reassembled, let's verify to make sure it still works and that there is no issue remaining. We're gonna go ahead and start with the left nozzle. Okay, the gears are spinning. Let's go ahead and stop it. Go to the right nozzle. All right, and it is spinning. So it looks like the motor and the control board on this one is fine. And like I said, there was probably something just jammed in here that was preventing the motor from spinning. And when we took it apart, it cleared the jam. So with this, everything is perfectly fine now and we are good to go. Even though there was nothing wrong with it, hopefully this was helpful for somebody else who may be having the same issue. And if you guys have any questions about this, please feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them to the best of my abilities. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day and y'all stay safe out there.